Hello there, welcome to Proper DIY. My name is Stuart Matthews and today I'm going to show you how to install a washing machine. So installing a washing machine is far easier than most people think and the company that just dropped this off wanted £50 for the privilege, hence time to get the tools out and do it yourself. Now talking about tools, the tools are very, very straightforward. For the installation of a washing machine, everyone's going to need an adjustable spanner and I found the smallest one in my toolbox. Depending on your water outlet, you may need a Jubilee clip and something to tighten it like this really cheap rubbish screwdriver that I've managed to find as well. Before I can start any of that though, I've got to get this adjacent to where I'm installing it and get it unwrapped. So after battling with polythene and expanded polystyrene for five minutes, I managed to get it unwrapped and looking fairly neat. A couple of things came out of the packaging. One is an insulation guide in about 30 languages, which you should read. In the drum, you will always find a water pipe, that is clean water in, that we'll connect in a minute. And also obviously instructions and there's some bits and bobs as well. Now, just before we go any further, just a little bit about the anatomy of the backside of a washing machine you'll always see a flexible hose. This would be water out, dirty water out. Um, this I don't need to tell you about. And 99% of the time on washing machines these days, there will just be cold, clean water in. Once upon a time, quite often there would be a wall cold and a, and a hot, but these days it just tends to be a cold and the heater inside then heats it up. Typically, you'll also see four transportation bolts they're very obvious in the back of a washing machine now these have been put in by the manufacturer to bolt the drum to the frame during transportation so that it doesn't get damaged but the first thing we have to do is take these out It's important that when you do take these out, you also take out the rubber and the whole fit in as well. And that means that the drum is now free to move. So next we need to fit the water in and you'll notice the hose that you've been given with the machine will have a straight connector at one end and a 90 degree connector at the other. Now the 90 degree connector is the one that goes on the back of the washing machine. So when you push it back in its final position, the hose isn't kinked against the wall. So the way that this gets a good seal is that there's a washer in there that pushes against this plastic. So you have to make sure that the washer is in, it's clean. This is clean as well. And now we can fit this just by hand tightening. So this type of fitting is actually designed just to be tightened by hand. However, if you really feel the need, you can just nip them up with some adjustable pliers. Just be careful not to over tighten and damage the plastic thread. Once these are on, then it's the moment of truth and the water can be turned on. I personally like to check for leaks just with a dry hand feeling the underside of each connection just for any dampness. And if this is okay, then we're good to go. So now we have to connect the outgoing wastewater 
and this is where you can find two different types of connection. On older washing machines you'll find at the back there's the plumbing that will be essentially a vertical pipe where this fits in and just drains into the wastewater. On a lot more modern properties this actually fits in to something underneath the sink that looks a little bit like this and now you can see it under here where we're going to fit this directly to the sink outlet with a jubilee clip to keep it nice and tight. Once the machine is in its final position, then it needs to be levelled by using the adjustable feet. It's best to use a spirit level for this, and to make sure it doesn't move around during the spin cycle, it's really important that each rubber foot is sitting firmly on the ground. The feet can then be locked in position by tightening the locking nut. So there you go, washing machine is fully installed. I'd highly recommend the first thing you do is just put a quick wash on like I have, even if there's no clothes in it. That means that you can test for leaks for the incoming and the outgoing water. And also during the spin cycle, just see if it moves or dances across the floor. If it does, you're gonna to have to readjust these feet. It's worth it because it's gonna be here for some time. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please check out the other ones on my channel, which is everything from changing the plug all the way through to building works and everything in between. And if you're feeling really brave, please hit subscribe. So from a fully installed washing machine and another 50 quid saved, see you next time.